morning, Cowboy Jim, Fort Mac, back in the land of the living. I, I have said in the past that it had been years since I were physically uh, sick. Well, that I was aware of. And, um, but nonetheless, it, 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 it had been a long time. And uh, I just came through five, perhaps seven days of, um, of, of really being in a quandary as to what, God, are you doing? What's this all about? Um, because I felt so ill, so, so sick. And, um, and so uh, I prayed and self-medicated honey, uh, uh, stuff like that, vitamins, oh, a swack of, swack of junk. And uh, I, I actually feel better. And uh, well, because four days ago, I couldn't have felt worse and still maintained the ability to breathe. And anyways, I do feel better. And uh, so today, because it's a, a balmy minus 32 degrees, I'm slipping down to the Union Hall to do some CBLTs or C CBLs or some stuff that I need to have done in order to climb on a decent hoe uh, come uh, 1st of January. And uh, thanks be to the Creator that uh, I, I will be able to sit on a hoe for the rest of the winter and uh, I, I, I so cherish that. And um, the rationale being that uh, it, may, it may not uh, be the, the greatest job in the world you could have, but the sensitivity, um, the opportunity to develop um, my personal relationship with the how um, through vision, uh, sense of touch, uh, all that stuff, um, supersedes whatever I would get paid. I mean, if if um, if I could afford it, I'd, I'd pay the company to let me run their equipment. And and people say, you nuts? Well, well, frankly, hey, I'm 73. I'm still working. So perhaps perhaps that question's out the door already. Hmm? Like some some questions you cannot get back. But anyways, so, I am getting ready to call a taxi. There's a reason for that. I run a 22-year-old Dodge Cummins diesel. And I only run it when it allows me to start it. And so, minus 32? Oh, no, no, no. She's a sweet old girl, but oh no, that thing's never starting until it's um, minus nine or ten. And then it will shake itself, stir itself, start, look like it's never stopped. And it's like the silly truck says, hmm, see, all you needed to do is wait long enough and I would wake up. Thank you so much for your kindness and your consideration in terms of watching my stuff. I did a video the other day about uh, one of the best Christmases I ever had. And that was uh, when I invited a bunch of people over who had no, no other place to go. I think there were 27. And, uh, and it, was, it was so special. Uh, my youngest son... Uh, he he brought uh, my grandchildren over to me and uh, introduced them to everybody that I'd been cooking for, and um, and it was a good Christmas. I don't know what Christmas is going to be like for you this year. I don't know what it's going to be like for me this year. The thing to remember is this: Christmas, uh, depending on your faith. Lack thereof, whatever. It's your choice. 
It's your choice to make of Christmas whatever you choose it to be. It can be it can be one of the greatest days in your life. I suppose it could be one of the, your last days in your life, so you want it to be pretty good. I have said for a long time, you were, um, you're going to live till you die, and only you can determine your eternity. And in my videos, I've, I've shown and told you how, in my opinion, you know, uh, but it's up to you. It's totally up to you. And, and I hope you had a little bit of fun when we were watching, when I did that uh, Battle Lake Big Hill Billy. Wow. Um, but in my videos, they are not all serious. Some are. Some should be. But they're still videos. They're still the best that I can give you. And I just lay my heart out, okay? I'm, I'm the same here as I am when I go to work. I don't change much. I don't really change. I mean, if I'm wrong, I'll change, but otherwise, probably won't. So listen, God bless you. My hope and prayer is that you have a relationship with the creator of this whole universe and his son, Jesus the Christ, the Messiah, under the unction of the Holy Spirit. But it is your choice. No one can compel you to force you to believe and or disbelieve. It's up to you. Oh, children, my prayer for you is that you choose wisely. My prayer is that you have a warm place to spend Christmas. My heart always goes out to the people who are in a position, a place on the street where they don't. And I, 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 I do feel a heaviness for people who, through situation or circumstance, finds themselves to be without shelter, possibly without friends. I have a lot of friends. I mean, I get phoned 42 different places and get invited over for, for Christmas dinner. And I kind of like the idea of doing my own Christmas dinner. God bless you. Okay, short video. Oh, whoa. Merry Christmas, eh? And God bless. Amen and amen.